we shall see the conversion of ethanol to methanol and this is called a step down process whenever you want to remove one carbon atom and how is one carbon atom is removed you must know that an amide on treatment with bromine and KOH and it is converted to NH2 one carbon atom goes away and this is a very famous example of Hoffman bromamide degradation Hoffman bromamide rearrangement or degradation reaction now we have to convert this ethanol to this amide and then remove one carbon atom and you know how to convert your amino group to OH group so we shall see the sequence of this particular reaction ethanol ethanol cannot be converted into an amide amides are obtained only from the acids so we have to convert this into an acid oxidizing agent you can use acidified potassium permanganate and that oxidizes ethanol to ethanoic acid acetic acid now this acetic acid or ethanoic acid can be converted into CH3, CO, NH2 and how is it done? Add ammonia and heat it on heating it. So ethanoic acid is converted into that. Now this is the time for us to remove one carbon atom. We add bromine and KOH, any alkali for that matter. So one carbon atom goes away. And we make use of Hoffman bromide degradation here, a rearrangement here. And finally, we know how to convert NH2 to OH group. You add NaNO to an HCl. HNO2 is unstable. Therefore, yeah, that's, you have to take a mixture of NaNO to an HCl, wherein NH2 group is converted into the OH group here, OH group here. So that is how. Uh, ethanol is converted. So please remember in a step down process we have to make use of an amide. Amide on treatment with uh, Hoffman bromide degradation is converted into amine. In a step up process we have to use potassium cyanide.